you, you asked me the question, that, you know, what would it look like if he's not elected? Well, we'll continue to see an assault on the unborn. It'll be no holds barred. It'll be uh, the most gruesome thing. And it, it, it is absolutely uh, um, hated by God. The scripture literally says that he hates the hands that shed innocent blood. And so when, when a nation continues to go that direction, it'll come under God's judgment. And we need to ask God to have mercy on our nation. And if we're waiting for a perfect candidate to come along, here, I'm, listen to me, uh, America. If we're waiting for a perfect candidate to come along, don't hold your breath. We will never have a perfect candidate. Uh, people, especially of, of my culture, uh, say to me, how can you support Mr. Trump when he has said these things? Look, I know what the other side looks like, and it is so bad. Mr. Trump has said specifically, I will appoint pro-life justices to the United States Supreme Court. How many Supreme Court justices do you think he may have to appoint? I, I mean, I, it's looking... I, I think at a minimum it'll be two, more likely three, and as many as five. Now, do we want to hand that to pro-abortion, uh, pro-gay marriage philosophy, or do we want to uh, get back to biblical values that uh, founded our nation, uh, a nation that was founded for God? You know, it's often been said that, that God formed the nation of Israel for himself. The, the people that formed this nation formed this nation for God. That's right. That's right. And we need the kind of leaders that will get us back to biblical principles. Many of you are familiar with Chuck Pierce. Yes. Chuck Pierce is a very dear friend of mine. He influenced me heavily in, in, in the 90s after I met Rick uh, yeah. Joyner. In 2008, listen to this work, Chuck Pierce. He just sent me one of his books and wrote a note, and he sent me a book to hand to Mr. Trump, uh, his latest book. In 2008, he said, for America to be restored, we're going to have to learn to play the Trump card. <laughs> he said that in 2008. Rick Joyner actually had a word. And he, a couple of years ago, he said, I believe patriotism is going to win in America. And he even said that it was a sign from uh, whenever the uh, New England Patriots won the Super Bowl. Oh, he true. said, yeah. there's coming a time in America's future where patriotism will win.